Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, but Hearts of Iron 1.00. Well, as you might see, it's actually 1.1. I couldn't get the 1.00 version to work, but I thought it could be nice to take a just look back at where we begun and where we are right now. So, of course, we have to do like this, turn off the content, expansion, uh, let's just do like this. Actually, wait, content pack. Uh, that one should be fine, that one should be fine. Cool, let's begin. So, version 1.0, no, actually 1.1.0, but it's it's just a patch. It's just a patch, it's nothing really added. We're as close as 1.0.0 we can possibly get. God, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited to see how everything looks like. I, it was such a long time and I, I actually don't remember everything that is still, like, that we have added. It, it's gonna be so freaking nice. Come on. Start of a game. Um, oh, I actually, I wonder if my damn power is actually going to be in wrong position right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I just wanted to do something special. I had some extra time today, so I was like, I want to do a weird video. And this was probably one of the weirdest I could figure out. And uh, yeah, okay, everything looks fine right here. Um, let's do play game. Yeah, nothing strange right here. And already right here, we can see it looks quite a bit different. Non explanation right here. We only have the main main nation. Yeah, <laughs> let's just begin the game. Uh, the map looks relatively the same. I think we have some like weird changes right here. They're missing some states, some states that haven't cut off properly. Wow, difficult the levels. Well, these are these are changed definitely. <laughs> We don't have any custom difficulty. We don't have any. God, so many things have changed. I, 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 I look forward to what, how it looks in game. Oh my god, it's gonna be so ugly! <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Heard it. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Damn power is out of place. We are. Oh my god, what the hell is this game? <laughs> Um, alright, uh, let's see, yeah, the map looks relatively fine, we don't see any map bugs or so, yeah, we're good, we're good, um, let's just see, yeah, we still have UI experiment on, cool, oh my god, this is how it looked like before, uh, let's, let's just fix this damn power one second, there we go, I was thinking we could just play a bit, like half an hour or something to see, ooh, right, this is everything. This is everything, right? We don't have any on historical path. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do the Rhineland then. Uh, let's see, tech wise. Um, no special forces tech, nothing right there. Uh, support menu looks relatively the same. This looks pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Everything right here seems very similar. Right, right. Oh shit, no synthetic tech. Well, we have synthetic tech, but this is really just upgrading how much or how many synthetic refineries you can build in each and every oh god a different font yeah this looks pretty different uh let's see we don't have me for builds we don't have decisions oh my god i'm just gonna press the decisions tab to see we don't have decisions <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right um let's see i think we usually just the uh, usual thing was do like this uh there <laughs> God, I'm so confused right now. Uh, let's see. So, civilian factories. Um, let's build like... There's no infrastructure. There's no infrastructure difference. <laughs> I was like, we need to build in these areas where we're gonna get level 10. Im oh my god, there's no infrastructure difference. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um... Oh, right. We had this... Shit! <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. We let you set. Oh, we have barely any ships as well. Uh. Let's just finish these ones, and then we are gonna probably just build convoys for now. Um. So what the hell do we need? Uh, how how are divisions looking? Yeah, they're still defined. Oh, we had a different thing right here as well. Tech. Oh my god, this looks so bloody goddamn different. Let's just begin the game, goddammit. Um, more more, more stuff right here. We're gonna basically build like we're doing right now, but in, well, previous, oh, it's probably gonna work quite a bit different. Uh, let's put up a slight light. Actually, no, light, no light tanks. No bloody goddamn light tanks. Uh, I didn't... I think they were even worse at the beginning of the game than it is right now. Uh, some fighters we definitely need. Oh shit, wait, fighters! Oh no, we have this old system. 
No! <laughs> oh, this is so bad! <laughs> well, it's not too bad, to be honest, but... Uh, wait, wait, can, yeah, I can move them like this, okay. Um, so we have to move them individually like this <laughs> to the old airbase system. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Uh, naval bombers, you're fine, you're fine and good. Uh, wait, oh right, airbase are not highlighted, so I need to do it like this. So, <laughs> open up this one, right click there, Baltic Sea. Um, how do I do orders? Wait, do I press... Right, we press on the region and then we set like this, okay? You're gonna do that. We have no fuel, of course. We have no freaking fuel. God, this is so many blasts from the past. I can't take this. Um, game is running quite smoothly. Uh, select all my divisions and we don't have field marshals, of course. We have the different battles levels right up here. Um, we don't have any big difference between generals and field marshals so i will just put a field marshal right here and we don't have any unit limits either oh my god i'm so happy right now it feels this is like really really nostalgic by me god there's been so many differences oh we can't assign it oh, yes yes we can yes we can oh good okay at least we have that oh shit i don't remember what was actually in the base game and what was not so that's gonna be fine and good uh let's see we need to train my units uh Right, right over here. Okay, let's train them. Uh, we're gonna switch everyone to infantry, just in case. Uh, let's see, we're missing infantry weapons and... Actually, wait, can't we see it right here now? Yes, we can. And we can see exact numbers. That's beautiful. Uh, we need to switch these ones around a tiny bit right there. Uh, we need some tungsten. Uh, oh my god, the trade interfaces. Everything, like, I don't remember all of these changes. Holy shit, it's so different. Uh, let's see, just by war goal, that's fine and good, yeah. We don't have, oh my god, the AA is gonna be so ridiculously different, I can't freaking believe it. Uh, I think one of the best tactics from the beginning of the game was before you just justify straight away on Poland and just try to kill them off. Uh, we assign everyone right there, and we need to press right here now, and then activate the orders. And the only way to actually see if they were doing anything was right here so we're gonna take our fighters we're gonna group them together actually we're gonna group every plane together i think that's possibly can let's make it a bit more clear there we go uh let's see there we go these guys are fine where they are rhineland is done excellent uh italy killed ethiopia within the wow the first 70 days that's actually really quick and nice uh, we need 550 manpower to be able to do the anschluss um but for now let's do the right out oh shit this is actually different i forgot about it this is also different. Right, we made some regenerable updates of the base focus tree as well. Oh shit, I I'm forgetting everything. Uh, war economy, but we don't ha we don't have any war support. We only have natural unit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is beautiful. I'm so happy. Like I I thought it was going to be a weird video. That uh, well, I I didn't know that I was going to enjoy this so much. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see if we can get an army up and rolling. Um, let's see. Total manpower... I don't know. Uh, there, 336,000 men right now. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, that's with the training, guys. So this is our current army. Oh my god. We don't even have that split up right here anymore. Oh shit. Uh, we're getting a crap ton of experience. That's lovely. Uh, let's see. Is everyone trained and ready? Oh my god. We don't have any difference. The interface is old and ugly as well. <laughs> wow. May maybe I shouldn't hate that much on the base game. <laughs> well, it it's not bad. It's just we have made so many ridiculous up. Like we have updated pretty much everything. And this is even with one patch. Oh my god. I can't believe I, what I'm seeing right now. I, I just wish I could actually get the first version to work. I don't know. I couldn't. I it, it was some kind of runtime error. I guess it's Windows 10 and bullcrap that didn't work. Uh, let's see. We're filled everywhere. Yeah, but I I don't know how high of a stockpile I have, so I don't know if I can add it. Oh wait, if I add artillery right there. Oh good, good. We at least had those numbers. We at least had these numbers so I could see actually how many. Okay, yeah, we're gonna add that extra one right there. Uh, Combat with currently 21. That's all fine, I guess. Uh, we're just against you. World tension is 2%. 2%? Oh my god, that's nothing. 
we can justify and kill however many nations we possibly want. Uh, this is looking quite different as well. Let's see, Spanish Civil War is beginning. <laughs> Let's see, how's the difference right now in the different sides? Are they kind of similar? No, actually the Republicans have quite a bit more. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do West Wall. I need more men. Uh, let's see, so I think I'm just gonna deploy this ASAP. And since they are joining up in the Field Marshal order, I don't have to make any differences. I just join into that army. I don't care. I don't need to set up anything. You're all good. You're all fine and good. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> this looks so small and pathetic somehow. <laughs> God damn, I can't help but insult the game I worked on for such a long time. Uh, let's see, uh, modify government. Uh, we are gonna have to add... I think I'm just gonna do more war industry. Yes, right, that's what, what I did before. I declared war just as... Er I only built war industry because it was more beneficial to just take everything else from your enemies rather than building it yourself. Uh, oh crap, we ha only have three buttons right here, right? We don't have any map modes. Oh right, these are check marks now for those three buttons and not that you toggle them on and off. Oh my god, <laughs> everything is so weird. Let's see, we are generally good. Sure, we're missing a tiny bit here and there, but we're generally fine. And let's go down one right there, let's go down one right there and just focus a bit more on infant weapons but we can't because we don't have a button right there oh my god we have to set up a separate line here and we can't drag it up either we need to press these buttons <laughs> why am i enjoying this so thoroughly maybe this is incredibly boring for everyone to watch but i am oh my god this is beautiful this is so freaking beautiful <laughs> i, I want to play more one hoi point one point oh point oh <laughs> one point oh one point oh Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see, we have 155 police power right now, uh, let's see, can we, where's my infantry expert, right there, Ferdinand, welcome to the game, and Rommel, yeah, you're still locked between army innovation, <laughs> oh god, right, 4k screen, ho, ho, yeah, no, wait, 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 you had the GUI scaling, yeah, good, then you should still be able to see everything, or oh, 4k, 2.5k, scale. so you should still be able to see everything, yeah, and wasn't this ridiculously overpowered in the beginning, no, no, it, this was even more overpowered than it was... The, like, now it's a difference depending on how you play. But before this was... I think it was just ridiculously overpowered. The 20% factor output right here just made such a big and huge difference. It was basically, well, you need to pick concentrated because it's just way, way, way better. Uh, let's get up a couple more guys right here. Let's just join into the front line. I'm not going to care that much about you not being trained because Poland should just be a complete steamroll, if I remember. That, there shouldn't even be a battle almost. Uh, let's split up a couple of divisions and move them over right there. Thank you. All oh, right, my entire fleet. Uh, could I group you guys together? Uh, let's see, we need to do from here. I think that's the quickest way. There we go. Join up right there. Uh, group these guys together, let's assign a commander, and uh, right, we have the orders right here in the top. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe, I still remember so much from playing this so much. <laughs> I remember so much from playing this so much, yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes perfect sense, Daniel. If you didn't remember anything, then that would probably be weird. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, that's fine, that's fine and good. Uh, a bit ahead of time, but let's just do it. We have... Wow, will you pa right, you gave 50% bonus right here. A 50%... Oh, wait, wait, that's maybe still what you did give. Or, no, you, no, you give 25% right now? God, I can't remember, I can't really remember. Uh, oh god, I was gonna open up decisions again. Like, uh, I'm like, why doesn't decision open? This is research menu, but then I realized... There are no decisions, god damn it. Uh, so we have 150 again. I think we're gonna pick this silent workhorse, Martin Borman, so we get even more blue power. Wow, 2.3 every single day. That's crazy much. Uh, let's just deploy all of these guys. Let's take a couple of them and move all right there. How is supply up here? Yeah, that's all good. How are we doing with equipment? Yeah, you're lacking quite a bit. Let's see. Yeah, we soon had a war, so let's just chill a bit. Uh, we are gonna get tanks, but Let's actually start researching it right away, um, as soon as you are done with that artillery bonus. Uh, I'm gonna cancel all of this, so we can actually see if we're actually missing anything on the field. No, we're pretty good. 
I'm, oh god, that, that was me gonna start training these units, that was me gonna, I, I tried to train those. Uh, let's see, aggressive, you're gonna start training these guys once again. I just wanna get these, well, as well trained as I possibly can until the war begins, since we can have some a couple days. Wow, this old justification screen. Beautiful, I love it. Uh, let's get pans, oh wait, 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 we should really go down and get treated with USSR, yeah. So maybe we should wait a tiny bit with tanks again, yeah. It would be nice to actually have some tanks that doesn't require freaking fuel, though. So that would be really nice. Uh, upgrading anti-air, that would be nice. But uh, Air Force, let's see. Construction right there. Let's do this. Uh, let's declare war against Poland. And I... Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait. We were, we were still training. <laughs> we were still training. I forgot. But I think we're holding anyway. Yeah. Let's just charge in. Let's go in. Uh, guys, uh, why are you not going? There we go. Much better. Uh, let's see, we are just completely obliterating them. We have 15% wars. Oh, get, there we go. It reduced. So, it was 15%, so we would have been able to switch to war economy, but we don't even have that now. Yeah, and we're just walking into Poland right now. There's no chance in hell for Poland to survive even the tiniest little bit. There's no chance of any ally force intervening since... Oh my god, yeah, we're just gonna walk in and annex them. Yeah. And I think just taking Warsaw will be enough to actually bring you down. Bube killed over Western Poland. God damn it. So we still lost the fight to race. Sad times. Sad times. Uh, let's see. Warsaw is taken. No, no, it isn't. Come on. Just go in and take Warsaw. Let's see. How many losses? 6k versus 110k. And there we go. Yeah. Taking Warsaw makes the entirety of Poland fall. We're going to puppet them completely. Or puppet them completely. We're going to annex them completely. And there we go. 39%. Uh, so either we justify against uh, Soviet Union or we go for f France. I think I'm going to go for France. That would be 4%. So you should... I don't know. Do you join the Allies if I do it? I don't know. Maybe. Let's just justify right there. And what? Yeah. Cool. cool. You're going to join the Allies. Uh, let's see. We just need more men right now. Uh, we're definitely going to go around this. Uh, let's see. So we're going to be careful, I think. Or we just make a separate army. I think we're just going to make a separate army. So we're going to keep like uh, 30 divisions right there. That would be pretty good. Then we're going to assign the other guy here. And you are going to just mark up every single one of these units. Oh shit. There was no unit count. I, I was expecting the colors pop up right here. But no. Right. We had it up here before. Uh, group like there. You're going to get a separate order. Separate order. Uh, split some units just alongside all of these. Thank you. Uh, we have 50 factories, two of these are just mass producing infantry weapons, now I need another one to just start mass producing some more artillery. Alright, I can't drag them up, I can't drag them up, <laughs> so many times I'm just failing. Uh, the massive issue right there, that stole factories, um, let's see, I need to select, unselect this one, unselect this one and just go down like that, thank you. Now this one is fixed, that one's fixed and now I want the rest right there, cool. Uh, are we missing anything? No, we're good. Let's see how we're doing with weapons. That's all fine and dandy. Let's see. Uh, I want this. Let's just get me a billion more units, please. And with that, we should... Oh, wait. We don't have enough men still? Really? Uh, we're currently at 515,000. Okay. <laughs> so we still can't go there. Uh, let's do some army innovations right now. Oh, my God. So many things, I, I'm like, where is this? Where is that? Holy shit. Uh, we're going to war economy, very nice. We have 125 factories in total. Experience looking good. Uh, we have a ton of things to repair, but I don't care. We're just gonna get more factories. Oh shit, we can't drag that one up either. But we can quick do, quickly do this. Yeah. And you are getting repaired still. That's not something we'll add it later. You are being repaired slowly, but sadly, even without factories. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> Maybe, maybe maybe I should make a, a real campaign of this, playing, uh, I don't know, United Kingdom in 1.1 and see if we can stop the access or something. Because uh, if I remember correctly, they were ridiculously more overpowered than before. The Allies had like no chance in hell to do anything pretty much. Hmm. Let's see, uh, not support weapons, that's way, way, way late. Uh, let's see, concentrate industry, sure, let's do that one, thank you. So basically, why I'm now justifying against um, England, uh, England, France, they're gonna join the Allies, we're gonna get in a fight with a major power, 
And if I remember correctly, we're gonna get like a 75% justification penalty or reduction against all our donations now, since we're at war with a major. Like, I think it was even higher than it is now. So, I think we're gonna be good. You see, let's just deploy all of these 16 divisions ASAP. And let's just spread them around a tiny bit right here. Thank you. And by the way, you guys need your orders against all of these nations. Thank you. So we have more than enough against Luxembourg. But really, it's just that we can move in right there. And then just group around right here. I just want a concentrated force just around that region. Now we're just going to throw in the rest against um, Netherlands. Netherlands and um, Belgium. There we go. The next computer right there. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we don't need to pick anyone right there. That makes no sense. Uh, we are going to pick the captain of industry. Sure, we could be, but it's not really necessary. Uh, I think we're just going to get the offensive guy right there. How are we doing with guns? Guns and support equipment is a bit bad. Uh, let's just bump that one up if we can. Let's see. No national focus. The Anschluss. Let's do that one. See if they go against us. Wow, the game is running very quickly now. Nice. <laughs> Uh, right, Air Force, Air Force. Uh, <laughs> where is my Air Force? Right here. Yeah, I'm, oh shit, I forgot to move these fighters. Well, whatever, <laughs> we're good, we're good. Uh, let's see, 600, 600. I guess I'm gonna grab these guys and deploy. Right, we need to select there now and select there. And, oh, right, you already have the order, so that's good. Then we're gonna take the fighters, assign right there, go in right here, take the fighters, move right there. Yeah, we're good. And the same with the close air support. Uh, let's see there and there and did you have any orders actually close air support no you didn't there we go now you have an order <laughs> transport planes well I don't really know what to do with you so let's just not do anything with you cool <laughs> I was gonna open up uh, to be honest I was gonna check my decisions menu again <laughs> I was gonna check my goddamn decisions menu <laughs> How are we doing? Yeah, this is fine. We have 37% uh, world tension right there. So we should be all right. Defensive focus. Yeah, France, I don't think that will help you in time, actually. Let's see. We have another 55 days before the war begins. Very good. That means we're going to unschluss Austria and we're going to get a ton more units. And I think I'm just going to quickly deploy them right there. Sure, we're missing some, some support equipment, but wait. No, no, you actually only have the engineer one. I thought you might be having the recon one as well, but no, unfortunately not. Let's see, you have 1.2k artillery right now, so if we added one more right there, then I would be severely lacking, but our firepower would massively increase, so let's add that one as well. God, I mostly just used infinite weapons before, but artillery was ridiculously OP, and even more OP. Well, it's actually not OP now, it's just very, very good. So, and something you need to use. Before, I most, I, for some reason, I mostly just used infantry weapons. I, I never played around very much with artillery, but now I did. There we go, thank you. We get cores, we get the army units. Uh, let's just deploy some you. Actually, wait, wait, wait. All of you become proper units, thank you. Now split alongside these borders. There we go. More against Belgium, please. 15, 17, yeah. Then this entire way, I'm gonna wait a bit now. So we actually see, yeah, we're really, really lacking artillery right now. So we should, oh shit, we're not trading for more. Please trade for more. <laughs> with the trade laws right there, with the influence. God, this looks like kind of nice. This having this one, traded goods right there. So we can very easily see we're using, well, three factories out of 51 civilian. I, I kind of like this one. I kind of missed that one. Damn it. <laughs> uh, what else are we having to be looking at? Well, diplomacy menu, well, you don't really use that much, to be honest. But still might be helpful. Uh, let's see. Demand Sudetenland. Yes, that one we can actually do. Please, please do it if you can. Uh, oh god, that could be an issue. If they join the allies as well, we are going to get so screwed. Exciting. Uh, so everyone against the Netherlands right now. You have much larger front line. So let's just charge in right there. Alsace is now done. Let's cancel this. And let's declare war against you. Uh, let's see. Good. You didn't join. So we're basically war with the allies. Yep. Cool. Oh no, you haven't joined the allies actually yet. But we are at war with the major powers, so we should have the reduction anyway. Uh, yeah, 80%. No! Fascist! Right! Fascist and major power. Yeah. 
Let's see, and I don't think they stack either. No, no stacking. It doesn't matter that I have one justification going on or anything like that. Everything is still all right. Oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, we're going to get the regrouping guy right there. And we're also going to get the armor logist logistics. Thank you. And I want to have, let's see, I 10 divisions or so right there. I, I don't actually have a number. Oh, really? Uh, let's see, 3, 6... 9, 10. Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want these 10 guys right there, and you're gonna stand just waiting for eventually someone joining the war or naval invasion or whatever. I don't know. We're just gonna have them in reserve. You're not gonna be deployed until I say so. And, well, depending on where as well. And there we go. We already have a naval invasion going on, and holy shit, that was way too quick, guys. That was way, way, way too quick. Uh, I'm just gonna take, I think, my entire 56 armor right here and just try to protect this. Because that's extremely, extremely bad. Uh, I need to grab these guys. Strategically deploy right over there, I think. Just so we get on the other side. Kind of quickly. Thank you. God, that was very scary. Holy shit, Franz. That was incredibly quick as well. Well freaking done. I guess when the AI was a bit more suicidal then. But still cool. And well, less things to think about as well. So, hmm. Some bonuses, some negatives right there. Uh, let's see, what the hell are we going to do right now? I don't know what to pick with this. Uh, that's way ahead of time. Ahead of time, ahead of time, ahead of time. Let's get some excavation right there. And Franz, well, it's time for you to die. Let's just remove them from here. Thank you. Yeah, there went most of your army. Uh, you hold the magic line, cool. Kill them off right there, thank you. So all of these guys need to now return to their orders. Everyone hold. But I'm going to grab half, half, and from the second half, which is now the one assigned against Belgium, I'm going to assign a couple more extra right there. And that means these 10 guys I was going to do something else with. Well, I have an objective for you now. Well, how about you just garrison a bit more? There we go. Deploy those units. Thank you. Deploy these guys right there. Let's assign a commander. Rommel, I guess. And <laughs> Rommel as garrison. Oh shit, we can't specify either. We can't specify where they're gonna be. And I can't st automatic strategically deploy either. Oh my god. God damn it. Come on, guys. Let's garrison this. Please. Oh god, you're also gonna have a ton of reshuffling because it first recalculates once units arrive. Yeah. But anyway, we have tons of war goals right here. Let's clear that war. Let's clear that war. Let's clear this war as well. And all of these guys, I super aggressively are gonna attack and just bring, hopefully, bring everyone down right here. Luxembourg has capitulated. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just okay, okay, okay. Uh, these guys are not going to go in right here. You are all going to charge in right there. And see if we can get around the line right now. You are still holding that mostly. Yeah, cool. Uh, Italy want to join our faction. Let's accept that. And let's call them to arms right now. E ready or not, here you come. Uh, Soviet Union is... <laughs> Soviet Union volunteers is holding the Magnot line. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Uh, naval invasion is coming from Netherlands right now. Okay, cool. Uh, demand to the land. Let's see, are you going to join it? So be it. Uh, yeah, well, that's not going to happen right now. We are kind of busy with a war on all sides. Uh, Netherlands has capitulated. Very good. Let's just continue with this war now. Come on. Just, just c c cut this down. Because it seems like Belgium, together with some French troops, are really holding line now. Uh, there we go, you lacked something right there, so now we're going to charge in with the other divisions as well, magic line or not, here we go. We're going to ex expeditionary forces, no, Italy, I'm not going to accept all the expeditionary forces, I'm going to let you do whatever you're doing, which I don't know where, what you're doing, you're going to lose all your homeland, goddammit, Italy. <laughs> oh my god, I think not only the enemy AI is very confused right now, also my own. God, God damn it, we're just pushing out right there, and I don't think I need to grab very much more than just Paris for France to fall right now. It's pretty much take Paris and a couple more large cities and they will fall. Yep, there we go. Paris has fallen. <laughs> oh my god, that's way too quick. That's way too quick. <laughs> Very nice, <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's grab grab half those divisions. Sign here on the garrison. Uh, you are going to be assigned like this entire coastline here. And I think that should be alright, maybe. Uh, let's see, these 28 divisions, you're gonna gather up right there and see if you can take down this. These 38 divisions, you are gonna start justification on the Soviet Union. But anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna end it right here. God, <laughs> this was fun. This was fun to take a blast from the past. Yeah, some very weird AA shoes, some very weird interfaces. I feel like I'm missing 
decisions, so many different focuses. Oh wait, do you even have continuous focus on? No, I was I was coupled like thinking maybe I should pick just the faster training, but <laughs> that doesn't actually exist. Uh, we're looking pretty good with stats while we're missing artillery. <laughs> god, I don't miss having several production lines each. Oh my god, I really, really, really don't miss that. Too bad we didn't have time to test some tanks, but I don't want to drag this episode on for too long unless you really want to see it. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this back blast from the past of Hoi 1.1.0. As close as possible to 1.00, but yeah, I think it was really fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it, that you like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.